Right, well over the next few minutes, I am going to introduce you to three what we call trigonometric ratios. Now for short, you might hear them referred to as trig ratios. And they uh, only apply to right angle triangles. So really important, don't try and apply these trig ratios to triangles that aren't right angles. So let's fix this one. It's not a right angle at the moment because there's no symbol. Now it is a right angled triangle. So only for right angled triangles. Now there are more than these three, but these are the three main ones or the three that we're going to look at in our introduction to trigonometry. So let's just do a quick tour of my right angle triangle. I know that the side that's opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse and it's the longest side. So I'm gonna label that H, it never changes. Unlike the other ones, which in previous lessons we've looked at can change depending on the angle. So if I've got an angle of reference here, now that will, de that will determine the name of the other two sides. The side that is on the opposite side to the angle is the opposite. If it helps, it's the one that's not touching the angle at all. Okay, it just doesn't touch the angle in any way. It's on the opposite side. And the one that does touch the angle, it's next to it, it's, it sort of butts up against the angle, is our adjacent. We've got three sides, hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. Now our trig ratios are just um, ratios, like one side divided by the other, and there's three of them. The first one, it's written sin, but we pronounce it sine. Sine of our angle theta, because we include the angle here. So the sine of theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. So whatever the length of the opposite is, you put it on the top of the fraction, and whatever the length of the hypotenuse is, it goes on the bottom of the fraction. We'll look at some examples with numbers in a minute, but let's just get the ratios out of the way first. The second ratio is our cos ratio. Cos of the angle theta equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. All right, so whatever the length of A is, you put it over H and you're going to get a number. And finally, the third one is tan of our angle theta. So tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. And that is it. They are our three trig ratios. Now let's put some numbers on here and just actually get some values. In this case, we'll do the sine one first. Opposite over hypotenuse. So my opposite length to the angle theta is three, and the hypotenuse is five. So I just do three over five. Now that's a number. I can put that in my calculator and I'll get a value of 0 0.6. So I'd say the sine of theta in this case equals 0 0.6. Let's do the same for cos. This time we're looking for the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So this will be four over five. Once again, in my calculator, that gives me a number 0 0.8. Finally, the tan is the opposite over the adjacent. So 3 over 4, which gives me a value of 0 0.75. Now, here is a little phrase or a nice little way of trying to remember, because obviously you've got to try and memorize what the ratios are. And it's this little phrase here, so katoa, so katoa. Now, if I walk through it, here's why it works. The first letter in each of these little sections stands for the ratio. So this stands for sine, cos, and tan. And if you have a look, the next two letters are this part. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. And finally, tan is opposite over adjacent. Okay, a nice little phrase if you can just memorize so toa. And that way you can always remember, oh yeah, tan is, for example, opposite over adjacent. Great job, you guys. Well done. That's your intro to the three trig ratios, sine, cos, and tan. Well done.